Hey everybody, this is Eric for Little White House, and it's been 51 days since I've last done anything on this channel. I couldn't hardly believe it, but here's the story. We spent six weeks from October 21st to, when was it, uh, November 22nd? or something like that, um, visiting Corey every weekend. And at the end, I came down with COVID. And so then I was pretty much gone during Thanksgiving weekend. And I mean, I just, I didn't want to do anything. All I wanted to do was lay down and sleep for maybe hibernate all winter or something, you know. But, uh, you know, when, when things like that happen, I have a tendency to get discouraged. And I know that there are other people who do the same, especially this time of year when it is, you know... There's very little daylight. There's only like nine hours of daylight here. And everything else, uh, the rest of the 24 hours is dark. Um, I don't know about everybody, but I know about me. And I, I have this tendency to get discouraged and get down. But we kept thanking the Lord for bringing Corey home to us. And right when I was getting over COVID, um, we got a text. Well, we got several texts. and One was on a Thursday night, and the last one was on Friday afternoon. The first one said, uh, you should expect him to move in with you this weekend. The second one said that they were going to bring him down. The third one said, wait, 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 wait. We think it's going to be a visit. You better drive up here. And then the fourth one said, oh, yeah, you're bringing him home. By the way, bring a truck for all of his stuff, too. And <laughs> so <laughs> we, I mean, this was all... Within less than 24 hours. I think we got the first one about 9.30 at night on Thursday. And the last one we received on at 4.30 in the afternoon on Friday. So then we spent all day Saturday driving north and picking him up and getting his stuff and driving back here. But, you know, um, being thankful, even, you know, when you're not sure that things are going to work out, that is, I think, one of the keys of life. Because if you just keep thanking the Lord, He's going to bring you the best. It's called righteousness by faith. He sent us on this journey, or we believe He did, and He wasn't going to leave us hanging. He will never leave you hanging. There may be times when you get discouraged and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. But he will never leave you hanging. Hang on to what he says and what you believe he's leading you to do. And then expect him to work in your behalf. He worked in our behalf, and I'm sure that for anybody out there that's listening, 
who is discouraged over something that's happening in their life. He's working in your behalf too. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day. Thanks for watching. God bless and see you next time.